What is going on, Chaotix? It is your boy Chaos May 6 here, and we are back with some shiny bell sprout hunting, guys. This is for our shiny. Oh, uh, I battle you. I already did. This is for our shiny uh, badge quest in Let's Go Eevee that I am doing on the channel. So hopefully you guys have been. If you did see that video, you understand why I'm hunting Bell Sprout, and also you understand why I can't hunt Bell Sprout now since I knew have this game. So hopefully uh, that is something we can work on here. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get these uh, Bell Sprout to the point where I can just catch them, no problem. So you're gonna have to bear with me. I only have Pokeballs at the current moment, and that's gonna be an issue for now. Oh my gosh. So, uh, I do have some raspberries. He does give you 20 raspberries, so I'm gonna start using those. So I'm gonna have to use raspberries for the beginning here until I get this thing to the point where I can use it. Oh my gosh. Would you just stay in the freaking wall? It's not like you- I- Like, I just wanna get this chain going. Like, seriously. I just need to get the chain going. Alright. That looks like it's gonna stay in. There we go. There's the commands popping up. All right, how to get Nightbot reset and everything like that. Let's start working on this uh, per, on this number cow down here. Are you playing Let's Go Eevee? Of course I'm playing Let's Go Eevee. Bell Sprout is an exclusive for Let's Go Eevee. So yes, I am. We're gonna play Let's Go Eevee. We're doing some very weird. This is a full odds hunt, guys. Just gonna say that right now. It's gonna be a full odds hunt. I don't have any lures going. I'm gonna get the 21 combo, and that's about all we're gonna be able to do at this point. I can, I mean, the 31 combo. I can get up to the 31, and that's about as far as we're gonna go. So, I mean, it does help out a little bit, but it's not the best thing in the world. If you guys have not gone and seen the uh, shiny badge quest, that's something. You probably want to go look at here. Um, I can put that link in the chat for you. So there's the link to the shiny badge quest that we're doing. Uh, feel free to go check that out before you continue on. Basically, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm working on that uh, shiny badge quest, hunting in this game, trying to get to the point where I can use some Pokemon. That's 40, and then Quick Attack is also uh, 40. So there's no point really to have tackle. Yeah. Will you ever do a shiny lock? I'm doing something similar right now with the shiny badge quest. Um, I might do a shiny lock once I have access to like stream, like to stream uh, or play. The play, let's go. Not let's go. To play like Gen Six, like Oras on this console. So once I can like play Oras, that might be something we do. Um, but for now, I think this is the closest thing we're going to get to. And really, I wanted to step away from Nuzlocks at this point, um, and regu especially regular Nuzlocks. Um, I've been doing them for quite a bit now, and just want something different. So I want to take a step back and do something a little different here, uh, a little unique to myself. Something I've always wanted to do, actually. I said that in the uh, intro to the to this uh, series that I'm doing right now. I said that I was uh, it's something I haven't done before, something I've always wanted to do, and I'm really excited to do this series. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy. We did lose the uh, the Hexalos. You have not watched that episode. I'm sorry, I had to spoil that for you. Well, that is, this is going to be replacing that series, and obviously, and honestly, I didn't want to have to do, um, so of course I just beat Let's Go Pikachu when it first came out, played through the game, doing some shiny hunting, you guys have seen that, and that was my second playthrough through the game, but I really, I really just didn't want to go straight into a third playthrough of the game, um, right off the bat, so we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from doing it. I guess it won't. I won't have played through the entire game of uh, 
Let's Go Pikachu for a second time, but I will have to play through a little bit of it. I mean, we made it to Misty's gym, I think is where we lost. Yeah, we lost at Misty. She wrecked us. But... Yeah, we lost at Misty's gym, and that's where we're gonna leave it. I was thinking about coming back and recording it, and as much as I love doing that series, I just... I honestly liked doing the series, I just wasn't motivated enough to keep doing it. And honestly, it's kind of hard when you just play through the game. Alright, me, that's not funny. That really... Not funny. <laughs> but it's, I think it would be kind of hard for me to play through the game three times in a row. Especially, like... It is really hard for me to play through it three times in a row. So I will not be doing that. I'll only be playing it through it twice. Um, and what I'm going to be doing, honestly, is... I'm hoping to get this pretty fast. I did battle that guy. Hoping to get this pretty fast. Uh, we'll end the stream after we catch the shiny. I'll probably do a little bit more grinding for the Pokemon to get it caught up to... Uh, to caught up to Brock's level so I can do that gym. Um... As we get to that point in the game, we'll start going on. Yes, Starmie is her star member, and it's a pain in the butt to fight. Even with a grass type. But hopefully, uh, yeah, please be done with the punts. That, they're getting bad. But hopefully, uh, everything goes well with this series. Um, if you've not checked out the video, again, it is posted in the chat there. Uh, it's the link I shared. So you can go follow that, or just go to the channel, it's the most recent video, until about an hour, and then it'll be, uh, then it'll be the next episode of Sacred Gold. So make sure you go check that out, it does have all the rules in the description of that video, letting you, letting you know exactly what we're doing, but basically I'm just going to be catching a shiny Pokemon for each and every gym that we come across in the game. Of course I'm doing mine right now for Brock. So I'm doing this and for Brock, I can get up to eight shinies in this game that I'll be using as a playthrough team. Um, they can be switched out interchangeably, and I will be doing that throughout the game. And it really gives me an access to do that in the Elite Four, because I don't have to come up with a team of six to bring in. I can just bring um, Pokemon good for each single person and then change them as I go along. So that is something that I'm really looking forward to doing as well. It gives me a chance to use eight Pokemon on a team, which is really interesting. Something I've never done before while playing the game. Like, I've used, um, I might have used eight Pokemon before on a team, but I usually have dropped, like, I have dropped most of my team before I got anywhere close to the final couple gyms. So that is something. So now having eight Pokemon, I'm going to be using for the last, at least for the last, uh, gym in the Elite Four. That'll be pretty cool. But we will be able to switch up our team once we get to Blaine. So that is something also to look at. Price saying thanks for coming in. I appreciate how you're doing today. Glad to see ya. I should write full odds. I'm gonna change that. Uh, yeah, learn double kick, please. I'm gonna change the. Uh... Alright. Full odds. There, now I'm Supreme Market Knights. Uh, I'll get rid of Growl. That's fine. This is a full odds hunt, guys, so it's full odds. And right now it's completely full odds. It's one of 4096. Until we get up to um, the 31 chain, then it's even more. Pidgey wants to learn quick attack. I don't know why I'm teaching these guys moves. Maybe because I'll use them later on, but you know. For now, we don't have any team members. I'm just trying to catch my starter, basically. Yeah, everybody got a lot of levels from that. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be training up the um, the other Pokemon that I have, I've caught. I'm going to be catching one of everything, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to use the other Pokemon I have caught in the game to train up while I'm doing the shiny hunting. So that way I'm not training up the team. And uh, also so I can complete the decks. So that way once I beat the game, I can do some more shiny hunting later on. This also will be the copy that I do um, the legendary hunts on, so I'll be doing a Mewtwo soft reset, a um, all three legendary birds soft resets, 
So you will be seeing that on this channel, and that's how I'm going to get them. Um, another fun fact is I'm not hunting with a lure. That's why it's flawed. <laughs> I don't have a lure. I don't have access to buy lures yet because I have to wait till I get to Misty. So the first two hunts are going to be pretty difficult to do. Uh, I'm really low on money, really low on Pokeballs because I just started out the game. I haven't even battled everybody in this forest yet, so I'm limited to how far I can go as of right now. I did b end up battling someone off screen on the way back to the Pokemon Center to heal up and get some items. So that is something to note as well. There's a Bell Sprout. Yeah, so I, I I haven't even got very far in this game yet. And I'm already shiny hunting, which is fun. But part of the thing I want to do in this game is I want to uh, I want to use the EV exclusive Pokemon because one I don't have them and two it's easy I don't have to go back and rehunt them later on I can just do what I'm doing right now not have to worry about coming back and hunting them again so that'll give me a shot and also I just want to use Bell Sprout. I haven't used the Victory Bell on my team before, and I think it would be really cool, so I will do it. I appreciate the luck, Super Mew. That is really nice of you. I really thank you for that. Um, this will probably be the hardest hunt I do in this game, besides maybe doing like trade evolution, maybe besides doing like trades for the Alolan forms, or maybe the uh, shinies, the shinies of the uh, birds and you two. But actually, they are affected by the shiny charm, so. Um, once I get farther along in this game, I will be doing... Once I get farther along in the game, I will be uh, trading someone for the shinies. Not for the shinies. Trading someone for the last couple things I need in the decks. And then we will have the shiny charm, and I can go hunt you two and uh, the legendary birds that way. But honestly, I probably won't go battle you two or the legendary birds until... Um, after I complete this series. So that means I'm not going to be battling green in this playthrough. I'm not probably going to battle red. I'll probably just end once I beat blue, honestly. So that is something to note. Once, not blue. Once I beat my rival in the Elite Four, uh, that'll be when I probably end the series. We might go back, do a little special where I go battle blue again, but probably not. We will have to see. Alright, so I'm going to get two evolutions right now. We're going to have to deal with that while I'm hunting, but you know. It's a little bit of something we got to deal with. What I'm really hoping for right now is that I can get... Um, I can get enough money that I can keep buying Pokeballs at least so I don't have to like oh we can't do a shiny <laughs> hunt right now because I don't have anything to catch anything with. So uh, you, um, you, you did ask about a Caterpie like if I find a shiny Caterpie obviously we're gonna catch it. Um, it'll count towards my shiny living decks. I mean I don't really want it to but it will. Um, I mean, we'll probably catch it. There's a, so there is a an issue that that will that's a bridge we come to when we cross it. I'm gonna say that now. I'm not gonna just try to figure out what I'm gonna do with it right now. Of course, it comes to that point in the game. So like, if I'm like, okay, I've been hunting Bell Sprout for way too long. I got a shiny Caterpie. I'm gonna take it. There could be that, but there also could be the point where I'm like, oh man, I really want this shiny Bell Sprout. So I'm just gonna leave this shiny here and go for the bell sprout. Right, I wanna use a raspberry. Don't wanna waste my chain. So I, I really think I want I really want the bell sprout, so that is what I'm gonna that's what I'm going for. Hoping I get that. 
be really nice to have a bell sprout. That was what we're going for. I do need to remove Beedrill and Butterfree from the party, though. Uh, yeah, it would be one. If I would catch whatever shiny I catch here, is going to be the one of the eight that I'm going to be using for my team. So, if it is a shiny Caterpie, then it's a shiny Caterpie. If it's not a shiny Caterpie, then it's not a shiny Caterpie. Just how it goes. I'm hoping it's a shiny um, Bell Sprout, though. That'd be nice. Uh, let's have let's have Nita Ran follow us. It could be a shiny Pikachu, honestly. That would be pretty cool. It's not the way I want to start out the series, but it could be something. Could be something. I mean, I really want this Bell Sprout, honestly. That is really one of the only things I'm looking for in this. Like, I've caught everything else. I've used everything else before. Shiny Bell Sprout. I don't think I've ever used Bell Sprout before. It's because I've always like played. I've always played the game where Bell Sprout wasn't the exclusive Pokemon. So yeah, not it. I would have to overlevel the shiny Caterpie as shot beating Brock. Um, not necessarily. I've used a Butterfree to beat Brock before, and I didn't really overlevel too much. I mean, I think I had like a level. I think I had a level 12 Butterfree. Because basically, what you do is you sleep powder and um, you just keep hitting them with confusion because they're really weak to that. So you try for the you try for the double hacks with uh, sleep and confusion, or you could uh, poison it. And confuse it. That's too, that's another thing you could do. But you know, that's not. It just comes down to hacking Brock's. Hacking. Just come down to using hacks versus Brock. That's how you have to do it. That's another reason why I want Bell Sprout is because it it will do well against uh, Brock. And technically, I'm not allowed to fight Brock unless I have a Grass type, as I said in the episode. So getting Bell Sprout as my first Pokemon is probably one of the only ways I can do it. To do it legitimately, I'd have to catch a uh, have to catch Bellsprout or Bulbasaur right now. So yeah, yeah. If you want to see uh, Super Mario, if you want to see a playthrough where uh, you can beat Brock with Caterpie with with Butterfree, um, go watch my Butterfree solo run because I totally did it in that playthrough. <laughs> I I beat everything with Butterfree in that playthrough. Lance was a pain in the butt. But I was able to do it. I do enjoy interacting with you guys. Thanks, Nightbot. If you guys are out and about in the chat, make sure you jump in that. If you are out and about in the stream lurking, do jump into the chat room. Of course, I think the only person here right now is Super Mew, but you can prove me wrong by popping in that chat. Um, it's the only thing popping up on my screen right now. So maybe there is someone else out there listening to this part of the video because, again, you guys see it on delay, and it's not going to give me the stats until you actually pop up into the stream. So it gives me the live stats, and technically, this is not this is as live as it's going to get, but it's not live. Okay, I'm not finding anything. There's a Kakuna. We are at a 16 chain. You have to catch a Water type or a Grass type to challenge Bark, but there's no Water Pokemon. Yeah. That's the point. There is no water type Pokemon I can get right now. So basically, my options are Bulbasaur or Bellsprout. If I want to fight Brock. So that is another thing to think about while doing this hunt. And there's another thing to think about. Very much is.
So yeah, this is gonna be so Oddish is exclusive to Pikachu. Yes. Um, let me let me see if I remember the version exclusive. So, um, Pikachu's version exclusives are Oddish, its entire evolutionary line. So Oddish, Gloom, Bile Plume, um, Sand True, Sand Slash, Growlithe, and Arcanine, um, Muck, Grimer. Scyther, I think that's it. Because it's Oddish Line, Growlithe Line, Sandshrew Line, Muck Line, and Scyther. I think the EV, the EV exclusives are um, the Bellsprout Line, the Vulpix Line, the Meowth Line, the Ekans Line, and the, uh, the Ekans Line, and the uh, Pinsir. So unless I'm missing one, I think it's only the five evolutionary, those five lines. Yeah, Oddish is an EV, is a Pikachu exclusive. I did use a uh, Oddish for a while in my Pikachu playthrough. It was something I did have on my team for a while, but then I decided that Oddish, like, I looked at the stats for Vileplume and Venusaur before I, make, before I evolved it, and I'm like, you know... This Venusaur is going to be a lot better. It has better stats, so I decided to use the Venusaur instead. And honestly, Venusaur is the best grass type you can get in this game. Because everything is a grass poison type besides Tangela. And Tangela basically is only specially defensive, and that's the only thing it's got going for it, but it is super frail. Compared to a lot of the other things out there, so that is something to, uh, to note. Alright, we're at 20 now. We need 11 more on our combo, we're doing good. Alright, we're at a 20 combo, which is looking nice. I don't know why my Nidoran's evolved is leveling up so fast. That's weird. But one thing I didn't do, which I really should do, I'm gonna do that now while I'm thinking of it. Oh, that was a lag. I'm gonna keep looking for Bellsprout. I'm doing two things at once. So I'm trying to find my, uh, that's, an e that's a Weedle. I'm trying to find my thing. I'm gonna copy the link. There's a Bulbasaur. Oh, that cry. Anyway. Discord. Oh, I don't want it over here. I gotta do a bunch of changing and everything. I'm not looking at the chat right now, so you're gonna have to bear with me for a moment. Okay. There's the bell sprouts. Okay. So we post it there. So take this to there. I'm basically just tweeting out my stream right now. So. That's what I'm doing. Alright, so that's all done. I believe I am shiny hunting. The tower wants to learn bite. Let's do it. Uh, we'll get rid of ta tackle because we know it's the same. Uh, Twenty-one combo is correct, Amundo. Check my Twitter to make sure it posted. If it didn't, I'm gonna have to log back in and do the same thing over here. You're gonna learn double kick. Yes, please. Uh, instead of uh, leaders, fun. I did post it, so it's good. Cool. Toxic Bot, nice to see you. How you doing? Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, how did you find this Toxic Bot? This is the question Monday for me. Alright, so let's get going. Let's keep hunting this shiny Bell Sprout, the Mundo boy. I'm running low on Pokeballs. Yeah, I know that. I see that coming. I mean, I only had, I think, about 80 when I started the hunt. I obviously had what you got at the beginning of the game, and then I bought, like, um, I bought 32 more, but I've caught everything on the right. Like, I've used a lot of Pokeballs so far. 
So that is something. I really should continue posting it on Discord and on Twitter because apparently people come in. I appreciate all of you who just jumped into the stream. I really do appreciate it. It's really great to have you out here. You watched the sleep block? Yeah, I, I know you were there for the sleep block, buddy. So you, you did subscribe and you did uh, get notified. That's nice to see. Um, just wanna, I'm just curious because I didn't know if the Disc if YouTube was still doing that or not. If like the notifications were working correctly. So I appreciate you letting me know that. Because it does mean that I should continue to turn on the note, like hit the bell for it. Because it do I do get notified for it, and I just I really don't like to see it. Because you know I know when I'm going live. I have to because I'm kind of the one streaming here. But it's nice to see that too. I didn't know if you were also in like the Discord server or if you were in anything else and saw it that way, or if you found it on my Twitter. So that is another th reason that I ask. I just wanted to see how people are finding me because like if. If I find out that uh, things are not going right, like if I find out, not that's not what I'm mean to say. If I find out that uh, people um, don't, use, if like no one comes in from my Twitter post, or if no one comes in from uh, the YouTube notification, or if nobody comes in from the Discord server, I'll just stop posting that link. To make it good. The sleep lock. When was the sleep lock? I did the sleep lock about a month ago or so. Um. You're in the Discord too? I thought so. So I, I just posted it there too. Uh, the sleep block was about a month ago. I think I did it about the end of November. Around Thanksgiving time. Probably like a week before or something like that. Um, we played through Pokemon Fire Red. We played through a randomized version of Fire Red. It honestly was a really fun uh, thing. And uh, I re it was a really fun thing. I really enjoyed doing it. We did find a shiny in that, in that series as well, which was pretty awesome. A full odd shiny scyther. First encounter in my mount in my mount moon, which is awesome. So it was my mount moon encounter not mount moon, it was mount it was the rock tunnel. It was my first encounter in rock tunnel, we found a shiny scyther. It was dope. It was great. There is a reaction to me I do have a reaction for that video on my channel somewhere. So it is just pulled straight from the sleep lock and it just is me reacting to a shiny scyther that I found. If you guys are new to the community, as Nightbot is saying, it really is appreciated. If you take a moment just to hit that, uh, take a moment just to hit that like button, it really is greatly appreciated. And also hit that subscribe button too, because you're going to see more videos on the channel. You're obviously going to want to see this series going live, because this is part of my, um, this is part of my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, uh, shiny badge quest so you're gonna want to see that too did i win that nuzlocke i did win that nuzlocke um it took me about 12 hours but i ended up completing the game with a very ragtag team of pokemon and uh <laughs> yeah it was it was a fun time i was in a furry discord and i said hello fellow furries <laughs> oh boy yeah um i don't mess with Community, like those communities they're pretty touchy on that subject I mean a lot of people are pretty touchy about anything nowadays so you got to be careful what you what you go in um, doing you can't just like come in gun blazing anywhere anymore and it's like it's hard to say your opinions really without offending someone no so that's what I like to talk about I mean that's what I talk about in all my top 10 videos I'm like guys this is my opinion you guys don't like my opinion uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below as long as you make it respectful and as long as you make it to the point where it's a actual conversation because if you're just coming in and telling me I'm wrong and I'm stupid and I suck that's not a healthy conversation to have but if you're in there telling me hey I don't disagree I disagree with your opinion on this because I see it this way or this is what I mean or this is what uh, the community that you're talking about or the viewpoint you're standing on this is what I think about it so if you come in and say that to me, I will have no problem looking at what your, what your comment is and getting back to you. But if you're coming in like, you're stupid, you're dumb, you don't agree with me, yeah. Nope. Not gonna happen. Yeah, there is the commands button, exclamation point commands, to pull up my commands for the chat. There's command for pretty much everything going on. Yeah, Oddish is not the best Pokemon in the world. Honestly, not gonna lie. 
I mean, it's good, but, you know. I don't have access to it in this game. Okay, it's gonna run. It is going to run. It is going to run. It's gotta catch it, or we gotta book it ourselves. Okay, we caught it. Good. Oddish, I really do like Oddish, though. I mean, it was my first ever shiny, so... By far one of my favorite Pokemon for that reason. I mean, I never, I'm never gonna use it competitively, but <laughs> it is one of my favorite Pokemon just for the fact that it was my first ever shiny I found. Um, no, we can keep old Moose. Thanks, Evo. Okay, we got two, not two more, three more. Let me math. We got three more encounters, and then we have the uh, odds. Max odds we're gonna get unless I can like gen in a lore, which I can't gen in this game because it is. The I haven't figured it out yet. Nobody has, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure someone has figured out how to gen in this game, but you know, I haven't been careful about it. Bellsprout or Oddish? Um, I really would. See, I like. I really like Victory Bell because of James and his Victory Bell in the anime, but I really like Oddish because of the shiny that I got. Um, I think I would have to pick Oddish, honestly. I honestly probably would have to pick Oddish. It's something I've always had on my always had access to in my games in my playthroughs through Kanto so um, definitely it's not part of the factor why I chose let's go Pikachu first but it is part of the it's part of the uh, nostalgia I guess from having the older games because I'm used to that set of um, I'm used to that set of Pokemon instead of the uh, let's go Eevee ones I never actually caught a real shiny, I've only got the cheats or the red gear is really interesting, buddy. Um, I definitely would recommend at least one hunt for it. It is very addictive once you get into it. Um, I've had a blast of shiny hunting ever since I started, so... That is why I would recommend it. It also is really fun to just, just try out and look at different shinies. Like, some of the shinies are insanely good. Like, if you ever see, if you saw my Charizard, man, Charizard shiny is awesome. Uh, Oddish puns for reasons. Oh, uh, Oddish for pun reasons, yeah. Hey, Random Gamers, thanks for coming out. Thank you very much for joining into the stream, and especially jumping into that. You should stream today. That would be cool. Yeah, stream is always fun, man. Alright, this is going to hit us our odds for Bellsprout. If I can catch it. I'm running out of raspberries, which is something to note. And I'm also running out of Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah, we, we are having a fun time, guys. You're going to stream today. Oh. Well, uh, I appreciate you. I, I'm all for you streaming today, buddy, but... Uh, as I was very much told in my uh, in my travels through the uh, realms of streams the other day, you're not really supposed to promote anything about yourself in another person's stream or promote another streamer in any way, shape, or form by saying I'm going to stream or I came from a stream or I'm gonna go see a stream. It really, is not good. Um. Tis Confusion, Nightbot. Not Nightbot. Tis Confusion, Toxic Bot. Uh, do you mean... Did you say your favorite Pokemon is Gardevoir? Is that what you mean, or you mean Doduo? Because, I mean, you have do 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 in there a thousand times. I mean, I really do like... Gardevoir is one of my favorites, too. Honestly. Definitely in my top ten. I don't remember... I have to... I really should go back and do a top 10 video of my favorite Pokemon. That is something that's going to be coming out this coming year. Um, I'm going to go back to doing my top 10 Pokemon of each types. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to my top 10 of each type, do all those things over again. and uh, Because it's been a couple years, so that is something to, to talk about again. Because honestly, it's been... Quite a while some of my picks have changed even in the last year or so so uh 
Even the last couple years, my picks have changed. Yeah, um, Gardevoir is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Yeah, I understand what you're doing, man. I appreciate it. You lost your DS, man? I'm sorry. I hope you find that. People still play Fortnite, honestly. Like, if you're not Ninja, why are you not playing? Why are you playing Fortnite? I mean, I guess he has to have, like... I mean, I guess he has to have about 99 other people playing, so that way he can wreck them. But other than that, I'm not really sure <laughs> why you would play it. I mean, maybe maybe it suits you, and that's good. That's cool. If you like Fortnite, I'm not, that's cool with me. I mean, I played it for a little while. I mean, I did a couple videos on it. I did have some really cool... Um, clips and stuff that we did show on this channel. There are, I think I deleted them, but they they might still be on the channel somewhere. So, uh, that is something to consider, but you know, I'm never really not for that kind of play. Like, I understand Fortnite's really cool and everything, but if I'm gonna play a game like that, if I'm gonna play a first person shooter, I'm gonna play uh, Call of Duty. Cause I just don't like the building aspect. Like, I really don't like the building aspect at all. One, because I'm not good at it, and two, it just takes... It's not really... It doesn't feel like a shooter game to me. It feels more like, oh, let's do Minecraft. That's what it feels like to me. And I, you know, I'm just not for that. At least Fortnite's not TikTok. That is something to do as well. I mean, I don't have a problem with TikTok either. Really don't have a problem with it. Oh, I do want Super Fang. What am I doing? That's 50% every time. Guaranteed. Yeah, I want it. Yes, I would like it. Nah, uh, you're fine. But I know who... I, I have someone else in the chat. I don't know who it is. I would like to figure it out. It says there are four people currently watching. I know random gamers, super mew, and toxic bot, but who is the fourth one? Who is lurking in my chat? Be nice to know. I need to check... not you. I want to check my bag and see what kind of stuff I got. Do I have any... What kind of candy? I have mighty candy. Like, I can sell a hundred. I can get... A good bit of good chunk of change right now. Of course, once I transfer my Pokemon to Oak as well, we'll have some more money. So that is something as well. But we're gonna be here. I think we're gonna be here for quite a while, looking for this shiny, because it is gonna be a full odds one. You know, full odds tend not to pop up. The, some of the vids are cr they're cringy. Yeah, TikTok is kind of weird, um, but it does have their own fan base and everything. And I can't really, I can't really be against that. I can't I? I mean, if they're not harming anybody, they're doing stuff because they enjoy making content, and people are enjoying it because it's fun and interesting. Well, I can't fault them. They cannot fault them. Alright. Eevee wants to learn bite? Yes, please. Oh, I have a neutral nature Eevee. I didn't even realize that. I guess that's nice to know. Now. They don't ship in your area? That's okay, man. Uh... I really do appreciate it though. Um, Knights, nice to see you. How you doing, Knights? Glad to have you back out to the stream. Coming in with that strong yeet, man. Oh, Hit me up with that yeet right now. Whew. I just got yeeted on, guys. It's not fun. Glad to see you out. I know who's in my... This. I think this is the first time I've done a stream and I know exactly who is watching. 
because I have three people watching and three people in the chat. So either the numbers don't line up or everybody who's in the stream or chatting. So that is interesting. He hit me with another yeet. Yeet yeet. So we we are seeing a little bit of bell sprouts everywhere. Yeet, we <laughs> got phone users. All right, we can stop yeeting. I'm all about the yeets, guys, but you know, you gotta yeet to your yacht, right? All right? We're gonna go ahead and catch this thing since we're running into it. It'll give us a little bit more candy, hopefully. Should give us a bit more candy. I'm hoping to stream, I probably will stream for a bit today on this, and uh, hopefully we find our shiny pretty fast and pretty soon. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit more difficult since I don't have shiny charm or um, lures or anything like that, but you know, we can still hope. At least I don't have to worry about a lure running out. Oh my god, there's a Beedro. That was weird. That was cool. Weird and cool at the same time. It'd be even better if it was like a giant green bee popping up. That'd be pretty funny. It sounds like you got a lot of diversity in your uh, friends there, Toxic Bot, which is interesting. Yeah, I think friends, having diverse friends is pretty cool to have. Because it's like some people you know you can joke about certain things with and some people you can't. And then also some people want to do different things than uh, your other friends. So like maybe you want to go rock climbing and your friends aren't really adventurous. So like you have no one to go rock climbing with if you don't have adventurous friends. But if you have friends who are up for it, I mean they'll go do that with you. Imagine finding a giant green bee IRL. Man, that bee's going to get swatted so fast. It's not gonna know what hit it. Yeah, that's one of the things I really liked. Um, I think Bird Keeper Toby did a series where if like a like if Pokemon were real, um, he did a whole, like I think the first episode was Beedrill, and they're like imagine if a bee if Beedrill was real. Like they're really common. They also probably can kill you. They honestly, probably can pierce through you with one of their stabs. So that would be freaking terrifying. Thanks for popping in the stream, guys. I really do appreciate it. Yes, the commands are available with exclamation point commands. There's one for a little bit of the videos that and, video, and stuff, videos and stuff we have done on the channel. Let me talk, please. Words out of mouth, onto paper. Words out of mouth and into the microphone. That would be better. Yeah, that thing coming at you would not be fun. Hello, Bell Sprout. You're not shiny though. Yeah, I'm not trying to run into Bell Sprouts, but if we if we find one or we run into it, yeah. Let me. I will read your comment in one second, you. And start catch this thing because I do not understand what I've read. Have you have your friend? Has your friend ever met a furry fan girl who did bad animation memes? That would be interesting. Yeah. I mean, I don't have. I don't think I really have any friends who are furries. I knew someone who was kind of a furry. We thought she was anyway, but she never really like said she was a furry. So I know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, she wore really weird stuff. Like she wore cat ears all the time, and she had fox tails and things like that. So I assume she was a furry because that's like what furries do. But you never know. She never said it, so I didn't know if she actually was or not, but you kind of can make a guess at that point. Hello, Bell Sprout. Alright, we have 39. 
Yeah. So uh, one of the things I'm actually really excited about is I have one of the things I got for Christmas was, and I asked for it. One of the big things I asked for um, was a dual screen monitor, and I now have that attached and hooked up. So that's why I wasn't streaming yesterday. I did get home, and I was able to stream yesterday, but I was worried about trying to get this set up and everything, and um, the cables it came with. One of them, like the way my my computer is hooked up, um, I can't really. I'm not. It's not meant to have more than one monitor, but um, so I really I have one DVI cable that I have to use. And that's what I typically have my monitor set up on. And I didn't realize once I got my second monitor that I needed another port to put it in. To put another port so I could have my other monitor hooked up. And so what I had to do was I went this morning. I didn't have any food in the house either, so I had to go buy food. But I went this morning to Walmart and I got myself a uh, DVI to HDMI cable. So I have the DVI end plugged into my monitor. And then the HDMI end is plugged into my, my main deck. Because I have, I have uh, four HDMI cables that plug directly into the monitor. So you can, like, you can transfer monitors in that way. So technically if I wanted to, I could have five monitors. And it would work. I don't know how I'd ever do that. I don't have enough space on my desk for the two I have. But it's working for now. Yeah, I do, I do have two monitors now, which means... I don't have to use my laptop to view chat. I can view, I can play on one screen, view the chat on the other screen, and it's gonna work out fine. It's really great, and I really have been enjoying it so far. For the whole like hour, I've used it. <laughs> so basically, I've only used it for this stream. I mean, I was making the layouts and thumbnails. For stuff using the dual screen but you know one screen basically just played music and the other screen was like oh hey here's the stuff the only thing I had the weirdest time trying to figure out is um, how I have it set up like how it registered it um, my monitor on the right is my first monitor and the monitor on my left is my second so I, every time I was trying to switch between them, I'd have to go all the way through my first monitor to get to my second monitor. And I just, I didn't like that. But I figured out how to do it because if you, basically if you just drag the second monitor to the left side of the first monitor, um, in the settings, display settings, it'll switch the order of it. So that way you can just go between them flawlessly. Because how it had it registered was it would go from my, I'd have to go all the way to the right side of my right monitor to switch to my left monitor. And that was not how I wanted to do it. I just wanted to go directly between them. So like I could go to the end of I could go to the right end of my left monitor and then it would go straight to my the left end of my right monitor. If that makes any sense to you guys. Hopefully I didn't confuse you there. But hopefully we get this shiny here soon. I understand it can be kind of uh, boring and irritating that I'm just like running around in circles, but you know. Gotta do something while hunting this thing. It's gonna be really hard. This first couple hunts, gonna be really hard hunts. And I'm not gonna lie about that because I'm not gonna be able to get this. I'm not gonna be able to get the um, lures until I get to Cerulean and after I beat Misty. So that's gonna be something to know. Maybe it's after Brock, I don't remember. But at least this one's going to be the hard one to do. Alright, see you in a minute, Super Mew. Thanks, anyway, for coming out. Alright, we'll see you in a moment. Whenever you get back from your burb. Um, we'll get rid of Growl. Why not? Give you dual stabs. Okay, some more bell sprouts, which are interesting to see. Wait, did you restart the game? Um, Knights, no, I did not. Uh, if you did not notice, um, something I had. Let's see if I can just post it again. If it, if I didn't change anything, yeah. So uh, I'm posting a link right now in the chat. You've probably seen it for a second or two. 
But I, ha I got Let's Go Eevee for Christmas, and I am doing a shiny badge quest in the game as my first playthrough of Let's Go Eevee, so that is what's going on here. I have complete. I still have completed Let's Go Pikachu, and that's what I typically have been shiny hunting on because I had to complete the game. I had the shiny the shiny charm, and everything was good in that game. But I wanted to do a shiny badge quest in this game. So we will be doing that as well. So that link is to the first episode of the Shiny Badge Quest. It explains everything that is going on with the series. Uh, yeah, we did. Since we lost the Hexalock, I decided that this would be something to do. And honestly, I didn't want to do uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee three times in a row on the channel. So ending the Hexalock. I mean, technically, we could have kept going with the Hexalock. It was something I was gonna I was gonna do anyway. Let's go ahead with the hexalock, but um, since I got to the point where I had lost to Misty, I was gonna have to do a bunch of grinding anyway. Uh, I figured maybe just starting from fre starting fresh and uh, doing the uh, EV shiny badge quest would be the way to go. So that is what I had decided to do. And hopefully everything goes well for this one series. I mean, I can't... There's no way for me to lose this series, how I have it set up. It's not a Nuzlocke. Um, I can switch out my Pokemon any time. So... That is something to do. And I really... I'm really someone who doesn't like to play uh, Nuzlocke unless it's randomized. I figured that out early on in my career and I just ignored it because I wanted to play through. Um, this. Oh. It takes you to the stream. Oh, yeah, because I did tweet it out. Sorry about that. So ignore that link. Um, yeah, that video explains everything about what I'm doing here on the channel. And why we're shiny hunting and let's go Eevee. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully we get this shiny here soon. I mean, it is full odds. But we did get it down since... The odds do drop once you get a 31 chain. For a shiny, so that is something to look at. So technically, it is more common for me to find a shiny now than it would be if I just walked into the grass and started running around. Hoping to find it. But I mean, it, it is higher odds than what I'd done in the past. I mean, I did a shiny Jigglypuff hunt before I started streaming this game. And it, it only, I only took like 96 encounters, so it only took me a couple hours to do it. Which wasn't too bad, but you know. It's a lot better with the shiny charm. But I don't want to bother someone with like, okay, trade me your entire Pokédex <laughs> so I get the shiny charm. One, I don't think anyone would do that, and two, I don't want to burden someone with having to trade me all that stuff. Okay, I see you have a message, but I cannot read. Let me just grab this. Yeah, that's one of the issues with um, with ran with randomizer nuzlocks because you don't know what your opponent's gonna have. But one of the things I don't like about randomizer nuzlocks, I mean, one of the things I don't like about normal nuzlocks is that you already know what your opponent's gonna have. Randomizer nuzlocks give you somewhat, like even if you'd already played through the game before, it gives you some sort of new viability to play the game. So like, I like the randomizers for that reason. And plus, it's fun to try to figure out how to beat the legendaries with lackluster mons, different things. It also gives you a chance to try out different things as well. So maybe, oh, so that's one of the things I like about Nozlox is that you try different Pokemon you might not have used before. So let's say, 
My first encounter was a bell sprout. I've never used a bell sprout before, so I would be stuck using a bell sprout on my team. But of course, it does. Once you find something that you can use and you like really well to use, you're gonna put it on your team. But I like that the aspect of randomness to have. You did a Pokemon. You did a Nuzlocke Pokemon Uranium. You got the fake Mongar Chomp. <laughs> you got the. He got a uh, Uran in its strongest form. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's one of the things about randomizer. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna come up against. And um, what's the fake Mon Garchomp in that game? I don't understand. Like, I didn't know what Uranium is. I've played. I've seen people play it. I've watched two complete playthroughs of the game, so I, I know what's in it. I just like the randomizer version because, like, it's something different. It's not like I'm playing through. Because honestly, I just played through this game, and doing the Hexalock was fun. I mean, I got to use weird Pokemon that I hadn't used before, and was having a blast doing it, but randomizer is just so much more fun. I think it gives the games more viability because you can just randomize what you're gonna find. You know, you don't know what you're gonna find on every route. It could be something really cool. It could also be something really terrible. So uh, that's what I like about randomizers. You do enjoy. I like. I do enjoy. I enjoy regular Nuzlocke too, but I just find myself leaning more on randomizers because honestly I'm kind of burnt out just doing Nuzlocke right now I mean I've been doing the sacred gold Nuzlocke I had the hexalock going on for the longest time I did a normal playthrough this game I want something different than just the basic stuff I understand Pokemon you know you're supposed to play it in the way the Pokemon company intended it to be I understand that but also, once you've played the games, like I've played through Kanto so many times, I cannot even count them anymore. I've beat this game so many times, played Fire Red through so many times. I don't even can't even tell you how many times I beat this game. How many I've used pretty much every Kanto Pokemon at some point or another on the team. Besides, like the version exclusive ones that I haven't had, so that's part of the reason again why I want to catch the version exclusives in this game. Because, like, I don't, I've never had these Pokemon on my team, so it's something I really want. Although, I do have to think about maybe not using a Meowth. Maybe not using an Ekans. I have used an Arbok before, and I have used a Persian before, and I didn't. Persian really just sucks. It's only really good in Generation 1, not Generation 7. So, I might not use that again. It just depends. But I really do want to use a Vulpix. That is something. Vulpix is on my radar to be caught as my third gym encounter. Alright, so um, let me run to this Bell Sprout. Uh, a Terror Lord. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They're actually pretty good once you get the final evolution. With Sand Attack, Attack on Tail Whip, man. Your reign is pretty busted in that game, if I remember correctly. Your reign is pretty bu busted. Right. See, that's why um, early game nights, um, you make it... That's why early game, I always try to have a non normal type attacking move I always keep one around just for that reason in case a ghost type pops up but also if you lose to a ghost type I don't think if you lose to something you can't fight I don't think you really should lose to Nuzlocke like honestly if you can't like if you run up against a ghost type and all you have is normal type attacking moves and you don't have a way to hurt it like you can't burn it you can't poison it like if that's if you can't literally do anything against it to damage it it shouldn't count as a death, in my opinion. It shouldn't count as a loss for a walk. You should just reset, that, not do that battle until you have a way to uh, deal with it. 
Because I've had a couple Nuzlocks, like my extreme random, my blue extreme randomizer Nuzlocke, I ran into a lot of ghost types early on, and I had no way to deal with them. Because I had Bite on some of my Pokemon, but it's Generation 1 and Bite is not Dark types. So I had a really tough time dealing with uh, some of those ghost types. So yeah, I never counted losing to a ghost type to be a loss. Like, that just doesn't seem right to me. Yes, if you guys are here, please do jump into that chat. It really is greatly appreciated. Rattata's learning Crunch already, sheesh. Bite 60 base power? Dang, I did not know that. I need to pay attention more to this game. I did not know Bite was 60 base power. I right, need to check my bag. I think I'm running low on Pokeballs. I know I'm running low on Pokeballs. I just want to see how many I have. 15. And I have a lot of Mighty Candy, so I can sell a bunch of it. I was not going to count that fight, but I had... Okay, my thing popped up and I cannot read. You were going to count that fight. The game's preset Nuzlocke mode which just said the Nuzlocke was over when I lost the fight. Ah, yeah. So that's one of the reasons. So, yeah, the preset Nuzlocke modes I never use. Like, I don't like. I played Insurgents four, three times through during my Delta lock. And I never. I used the preset for the first time through. And it caused me to lose the game. Because I ran into I think I ran into a ghost type off screen and I just couldn't continue on, so I lost. Or something like that. So I don't I don't like the self I like I do I like the self-imposed better because it's like, oh, we're gonna make this extremely hard. And then sometimes Nuzlocke are different. Because some people are like, oh Nuzlocke is you can't heal at a Pokemon setting. And so they took away that option in one of the games I played, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to self-impose it if I'm going to do it. So that is something to look at, too. That's why I will never play a game. If it gives me an option, like if, let's say po the Pokemon company in Game Freak decide, oh, let's put a Nuzlocke feature into our gameplay style. So like at the beginning of the game, before you even talk to Professor Oak, or whatever the professor of the region is, they're gonna ask you what kind of playthrough you wanna do. And do you wanna do a Nuzlocke style? Do you wanna do regular? Do you wanna do this? Do you wanna do that? So like, I never would select the Nuzlocke variant. I would just do the regular stuff. Because I just think it's easier to self-impose it than it is to do it how the game wants you to do it. So I will always self-impose the Nuzlocke rather than uh, I'll always self-impose rather than play through a game that has one into it. Yeah, a couple, there are a couple good ones out there, but I just, I just won't do that. Like I will, like if they have really cool modes that I want to try out, then I will do that, but if I want to do a Nuzlocke variant, I will I'll just do it myself. I will say, yeah, this is a Nuzlocke. I'm gonna obey Nuzlocke rules, and it's gonna work. Kinda, yeah, kinda, yeah, they do kinda work sometimes. I understand. I was playing, I forget what game I was gonna play. Like, I was trying to do a playthrough with, uh, I think Damien on the channel and it's a really interesting game we're gonna nuzlocke it and I, I tried to play through it and I'm like it actually is a pretty good nuzlocke um, but I can't remember what game it was and we ended up not doing that series together so I haven't played it since like that was before I got my new PC and I lost all the files I had with that game in it so So I never got to Nuzlocke that game, but it was pretty fun. What are my favorite Pokemon fan games? Um, I just think, so fan games and, f that's, I need to, 
check something before I answer that question. Before I answer that question, uh, I believe. Okay, I gotta remember. Fan game is a game that is created by, that is created completely on its own, full engine, everything like that, based off of a game, a series. So like. It would be something that was completely made up from the ground up, not like a ROM hack. So like anything, so not like one of the Dreyano games. So um, not like Sacred Gold, like I'm playing. It would be something that is completely unique, its own region. Everything is built. Um, it could be based off of the region of another game, but it ha ultimately has a different storyline. Everything like that. So um, my favorite by far is definitely Uranium. I think it was just a solid game. Um, it looks really nice. It looks really good. It's something I've always wanted to play through. Um, it's got so many great Pokemon in it. The storyline is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really, I'm really intrigued every time I see the game. So that is something I might want to do in the future. I really also do like Insurgents. Um, I think its storyline also is pretty good. I haven't seen it since it was completed. So I, I think it is a complete game now. Um, I know it was cut off at some point. It was cut off like after you got to the, um, after you beat the seventh gym. It was cut off, but I think it is completed now and I haven't played through the rest of it. So that is something I might want to take a look at as well. But I, I assume it's gonna be really good. It was a pretty solid game. I really like the Delta species. I thought those were really cool. But other than that, I'm not really too aware on uh, fan games. I've seen like I've seen some things out there, but I'm not. I haven't played a whole lot. Those are the two I've I've looked at really, because as a content creator, you look at games to play all the time. And, you know that was those were two games I really considered playing at some points, and I really did play through. I played through Insurgents three times. I never got to play Uranium because I never found uh, something I could download and use. All right, we're gonna run. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna drop that back down to 49, so I'm not gonna mess up my counting. But I am running pretty long Pokeballs if I read that correctly. I think I'm under 10, which means I might want to go drop out and grab some. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some Pokeballs. We're gonna go trade away our. Um, our bell sprouts that we have, and uh, we'll get some candy and all that jazz. Now it's a complete game. The last time I'm pretty sure it got to the seventh gym, because I know it got to the point with uh, the perfection cult, and you were um, getting the. It got to the point with the perfection cult, and you were getting the uh, Reshiram, Zekrom, and uh, Kyurem final form. And they stopped the game there because they never got the final form and they never had the uh, final gym planned out and everything. But I'm pretty sure it's completed now. Um, I think I, I might have watched MJ D. I think I watched MJ TV do it because I. Yeah, I did. Because he got to the Pokemon League. So I've, I've seen it. So I, I've seen it, but I haven't played it myself. And it might be something to revisit down the road. It, I always said. Insurgents would be something I might revisit down the road. Maybe not a Nuzlocke, because the game is just insanely difficult, but maybe down the road it's something we do. Maybe like a playthrough, but of course, right now, I'm not ready for any sort of playthrough. Because I need, I need some fun stuff. Alright, so we're gonna... Uh, so I'm gonna trade away all of these Bell Sprouts that I have, including the first one I caught. That I did train up a bit, and uh, we'll we'll be catching some more, so I'm not worried about it. We're gonna get better IV ones anyway, so I'll most likely use those instead. So, good bit of mighty candy. Uh, Uranium's Pokemon are some of my favorite fans out there, including the original evolutions for certain Pokemon. Uh, you mean like uh, Dunsirap? I really like Dunsirap. I think Dunsirap is just a solid Pokemon. I wish Dunsirap was real. Man, that thing is busted. It's so cool. I would totally use one if I ever played through that game. So, yeah. Dunsirap. 
Sounds like a good deal to me. Please, Pokemon, make Dunsrack a real thing. Alright, let's sell. We can sell our tiny mushroom. For 250 which is... Okay. We can sell... Three... We can sell... Get 3,440 Mighty Candy. For dollars, we can get... 250 from these, and then we get 400 from the Mighty Candy. I'm gonna keep the one Bell Spell Candy for that. Just because. So I do have 4,000 Poke Dollars now, which is awesome. I can buy more, a lot more Poke Balls, which I'm just gonna buy Poke Balls. As this is not a Nuzlocke, and I do not care about dying. <laughs> so I will, I will not worry about that. Yeah, Dun Serap is such a good Pokemon. It is really good design, too. The only thing I hated about Insurgents was like the early game money grind. Like, that was the one big problem I had with that game. Is the money grind at the beginning is pretty much nowhere to be found. You basically gotta do those trainers and if you're doing a Nuzlocke you can't do those trainers because they're all level th like they have the uh, I like to call them the virtual reality trainers because that's what they seem like to me. But they have those trainers that you can just battle at any point in time. I think you get it after like the second gym. You get the ability to battle them at any point in time. And they have like really competitive move sets, so they're really hard. But I always, um, I always uh, battle the rich guy deal who had a Dunsparce. And that Dunsparce was a pain in my butt all the time. But the money grind, like, that's one of the only ways you can get Pokemon in that game. I mean, the only way you can get money in that game is you have to, like, take those guys out to get them. It's just insane. But once you get to the end, like, that's what the, always the biggest problem with any Pokemon game is. When you're trying to play through it with a weird style. Because if you're trying to do a Nuzlocke, of course you don't want anything to die. So, you can't let anything faint. And what's really hard to do is it's really hard to have potions to heal up with, especially like you have a lot of intense fights right in a row. There's no way you can get money because you either have to hack the money in, gen the money in, or just use what you have. And that's what the hardest thing about the, those kind of games are. That's part of the reason why um, my Hexalock was so difficult because I didn't have any money and I couldn't do anything. So honestly, basically, honestly, you just gotta beat, beat like the first four gyms. Once you get that point in the game, you're pretty much set until the like Elite Four and Champion, that's when it gets harder again. Yeah, yeah, you can battle them anytime and there's a specific trainer has a shiny level 50. Rattata and any ghost type such as Adult Tryman or Ghastly can completely wallet and it's easy win. Yeah, things like that. Like that is a good addition to the game because it makes it so you can uh you can get the money. And you need money in game Pokemon games. Like you can't catch anything if you don't have money for Pokeballs. You can't heal up your team and keep them around in Nuzlocks if you don't have potions. So it's all about the money. Like in regular playthroughs it's not a big deal because Really, who carries around a bunch of potions to heal their team up with? We well, can go back to a Pokemon Center. Unless you've, like, played Pokemon before. Like, I never use my money. I use the money on stupid things, like Pokeballs. So I would never buy potions. Until I got to the Elite Four. Then I had to buy potions, because you can't go back and heal. Ah, let's Bulbasaur. Yeah, that level 50 Rattata is, sounds pretty good. Sounds like a good way to get grinding up. Well, someone found a shining on screen. It was like M and J T V. He's hunting as well right now. Which is nice. Good for him. Yeah, it is a really nice that sounds really great to have. Something I would really enjoy. So I might go back and play Insurgents? No. Yeah, that's not going with it. I think I still have the old version on my computer. But I don't know. 
I kind of want to go back and do my blue extreme randomizer nuzlocke too. Because I never got to complete it because the file got corrupted upon it. Like, I was halfway through the game and I think I actually was about Lieutenant Surge in the game. And I had just got my new PC and I was transferring everything over and the file got corrupted between the two PCs and so I couldn't play the game anymore. Like, the, I had, like, it kept, it kept the ROM. And the ROM worked fine, but it got rid of all my save states. And even transferring the save states over, it got rid of them all, so. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I'm not gonna use Mirror Move. Yeah, so that might be something we'll get here in a minute. Oh, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm look I'm thinking about what's gonna be next on the channel, and that is like fan game seems pretty good. A, nuzzle, a randomizer seems pretty good. So neither of those options sound pretty good. There's a certain Pokemon fan game that money is extremely scarce and unlocking. Um let me continue while I want to get this build. And unlocking Nuzlocking it early on is almost impossible. You have very specific Pokemon which you, Unless you have very specific Pokemon. Yeah. See, that's one of the things about Nuzlocke which really sucks. And that's why I like randomizers, because you can uh, do it. Every battle one is like 20 to 100 Poke Dollars. That is nuts, man. I get more Poke Dollars in this game from just catching wild Bell Sprouts. Because look, 21 and 10. That is $210 and $110. Now they're each 100. Now they're each 100. So that's 21. I don't remember how it works. No, it's, they're, they're only 10. So yeah, it's like I just got $300 from that. From catching that Bell Sprout. So it's way more beneficial in these games. That's why it's hard to Nuzlocke stuff. So, yeah, I understand. And honestly, Pokemon wasn't made to be Nuzlocke. It's made to be just played through, and that's part of the reason why none of that stuff is considered when they make the game, so. It's just... It's a fun... Oh, I have 56, not 55. It's a fun thing to look at, but it's... It's a fun thing to do, but it's really hard when you don't have any money. Especially when the games aren't built for money, because a lot of people, like... Honestly, as I've said before, how many people go and buy potions and stuff like you do in a Nuzlocke? in a regular playthrough. Not really anybody. No. You definitely don't go through them as fast because you're like, oh, this thing can just faint. I can go heal it up later. The game was made to be difficult. It was like a Dreano game. Because I have found out that Dreano's games are not fun to Nuzlocke. Yeah, the sacred gold is the sacred gold nuzlocke is just extremely difficult. It is something that is so hard to do. So hopefully, hopefully it gets easier as we get on in the game. I mean, we're we beat Jasmine. We're at, about to take on Price. Is what I think we're at. I don't know. The episode went live like 20 minutes ago. So whatever we ended at that episode. I think we're, we just beat Jasmine and we're on our way to Price. So yeah, it's really difficult. And I still got, like, I'm not even halfway through the game yet. And I still gotta go through the entire Kanto region, I still gotta go... Beat the Elite Four, do all this and that, and it's just gonna be difficult. And I know it's gonna be difficult, but I wanted to challenge and... I don't think I would be as feeling bad about it if I just like did it straight as one series and not like try to do multiple things at the same time because honestly I started that game like a month I started that game on like October I'm like I will stream it every once in a while 
And it was fun as like a stream every, occasionally. And going back to doing like the video editing like I've done now, it's just it's become more difficult for me, honestly, because on one editing you have to do all that. And two, you have to record videos and then edit it, and it takes more time than it would to stream, and I'm not interactive. Like, I don't get to be interactive with people while doing it. So, doing Nuzlocks and stuff like that, it's kind of difficult, but... You know, I just want to... We'll beat... So, we'll beat this game, we'll beat that game, and I'm not going to... I won't start a new series until after we both of these series are done. Because I want to do this while it's relevant. I want to get the shinies. So I want to play through this game so I can shiny hunt. Because I want to play through Eevee so I can shiny hunt. So that's why I want to do this series now. And I also want to. I also really want to finish up Sacred Gold. It's been a long time in the works. Then who knows what's going to come next? I really don't know what's going to be next. Maybe I go back to a Nuzlocke of something else. Maybe I go to a randomizer. I don't really know. A bunch of stuff I would like to do. I mean, there are a bunch of video games I'd like to play, but you know, I can really only play Pokemon on this channel. And I don't have access to record a lot of those things on. And anyway, because like I've wanted to do a Wonderlock for the longest time, and I just don't have the capabilities to record it. So honestly, you guys, you can go back to my first series on the channel where I did like the shock lock and the, especially the sacred not the why did the um, shock lock and the uh, soul silver randomized the soul silver nuzlocke that I did the first couple nuzlocks I done on the channel um, they're really shy recordings and that's basically what it would be I mean I got a little bit better camera now and that works it's so, like you can go look at um, my left my uh, magic carp my, my magic carp my mudkip hunts and let's in oras so you go check out that, and basically that's gonna be the quality of the game if I did it. So that is something to note. I do need to catch a Bulbasaur, but I will do that um, in a moment. I'm not gonna break my chain to catch a Bulbasaur. So once we find the shiny, I can catch one. That to my team. Let's get our shiny. Guys, if you are lurking in that chat room, please do jump in uh, and join in the stream chat. It is greatly appreciated by me. You keep me interested in something to do besides sitting here looking at the screen trying to find some sparkles. Believe me, it's fun and everything, but it's nice to it's nice to have some interactions as well. That's why you never shiny hunt while not doing while doing nothing else. I used to do it for four hours straight every day, and it was not fun. I did it because I wanted to shiny my kit, and I still haven't got it yet. So, it is something to notice. Also, if you guys have not gone and seen the, uh, if you've not gone and seen the episode of the shiny badge quest you should go check that out um, I did ask a very important question of the day even though it's nowhere you could even though you can see it's nowhere on the layout there's no shiny badge quest um, there's no question of the day but I did ask a very important question of the day and um, I really have been thinking about switching everything over to twitch doing my shiny hunts over there doing my like just doing my shiny hunts over there and my other streams I would do on this channel. So I've been thinking about switching back over to switching over to Twitch to do that. 
but I know that a lot of you like watching on YouTube, I know that a lot of people join in on YouTube, but I just think Twitch has a better streaming setup, and that's part of the reason why I want to do it. So if you want to let me know your thoughts on that, that'd be great. A lot of I know a lot of um, I asked this in a straw poll, and a bunch of people were like, "We want you to keep it as it is," but really, I really don't think I want to be split on my uh, on my streaming quality on my streaming server because I I would like to just stream on one service. Now, I know I can't stream on YouTube. I know that service isn't YouTube because I can't do all my random games that I've been doing on YouTube because it would throw off the algorithm. My channel would never be found. But I can do all those crazy things on uh, Twitch. I can stream basically whatever I want and people will come people can come and watch it. So, I know some of you are particular to Pokemon and some people are just showing up because I'm here and I'm kind of entertaining at some points. But, you know, we're getting the same amount of viewers on both. I mean, we get, occasionally we get up to like seven people in this chat. I think that's the highest it's been. About, okay, maybe about ten people. Over there we get about five. And honestly, we have the chance to be rated. And by people, we have the chance to um, pop up if someone searches a certain topic. If we have... We have so many more chances, I think, on Twitch to be found as a YouTuber. Like, to be found as a streamer, I think we have so much more options on Twitch than we would on YouTube. Because I, I just don't think YouTube is built for the uh, streaming. It's not built for streaming. It's built for uh, videos. That's what it's built for. And Twitch just does so much better with the streaming aspect. So it has been something I'm really been looking into. Um, just jumping in, doing shiny hunting over there. I mean, pretty much everything else has popped over there. I really thought about it. It's really been something that came to the forefront while playing uh, Mario Sunshine because we kept getting copyright strikes, and I don't get you won't get copyright striked on Twitch. Like, you cannot, they will literally not copyright strike you on Twitch for anything. Twitch might say you go against their guidelines and everything like that, but they will not copyright strike you. So, that is something, that is something to note. I don't have to worry about, like, whatever game I play. I don't have to worry about using music. I can listen to what I want to while shiny hunting. I can do this, I can do that. And I don't have to worry about someone going hey you're using my content in your video and um, we're not gonna stand by it so no so that is that is something to think about so twitch sounds like a good option to me just to stream everything on and you know that might be something we see in the future I'm thinking maybe that's something we start new year, at in the new year we just start streaming everything on twitch I think it would be really great for me Hi Josh, I'm glad to see you out here. Thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for popping in the chat. Really do appreciate it. You're still working on this shiny hunt for Bill Sprout. I'm limited on where I can go. Hopefully this thing comes up here pretty soon. I'll go ahead and catch one of these two. It doesn't hurt to get me some more bell sprouts. I can get more candy and stuff like that, so. Ultimately, it's more money. Yeah. I saw you were live early. You were uh, on. You were playing some Fortnite earlier, Joshy. How'd that go for you? Because I noticed you were. Uh... It pops up when you, you, when you do something on this. Because, you know, we're friends on. We have friends on Switch. So it popped up when you were playing some Fortnite earlier. It is nice to have you out. It's been quite a while since we've jumped in a stream together. Well, since you jumped into one of my streams. So it's nice to see you out here. Anyone okay ish? 
Did you get any top placings? Like, did you get, did you win any matches? I still never won a match in Fortnite. And I don't care to at this point. I just don't want to play the game ever again. Although they do have the planes in it, I think the planes would be a lot of fun. Do I have Smash? Yes, I got Smash for Christmas. Uh, we'll be doing Smash over on Twitch at some point. I'm waiting to get my controller because I try I've been trying to play it in the handheld mode. I've been trying to play it with the Joy-Cons and neither of those are really fun for me. So <laughs> I'm waiting. I have a pro controller on the way that is really cool. And it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited to get it. It's a custom built one. You have Yeah, you've been busy. That's okay, man. That's cool. It's okay, man. I really do appreciate you coming out, though. I really do appreciate it. All right. Yeah, you play any more Rocket League recently? <laughs> I know that's what you were playing when I uh, first started coming into the streams here. You got me in a Rocket League. I really do like Rocket League. I think it's good, but I need I I can't play it really but too much by myself. I can do about an hour, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm bored of this game. So I want a game that, I want something to do that makes it feel like I'm doing something important. That's why we're gonna stream a little, we're gonna do a little bit of Smash streams. <laughs> Not a whole lot, it's just gonna be enough that I beat the, um, the, uh, light the light, the story mode, whatever, the spirit story mode is. I mean, I have been playing quite a bit. I'm just getting used to the mechanics of the game and getting used to the new characters. Um, I do, I have unlocked half, about half the characters, so that is something to note. But, you know, I don't think it's too important that you guys, oh, he's unlocking characters. It's more important that you watch me just destroy people with uh, different move sets and stuff. Trying different things. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Gonna have uh, all of you coming out here today. We do appreciate it. I don't think Rock League Yeah, well, instead of people have cars to the game, it's, I think it's more, I think it's a really cool game, really interesting to do. Like, it's a really interesting take on the game. Because, yeah, it is basically just soccer, but you use a car instead of a person. But, people can't fly in the air. It's really built for a, th it's built, really built like a 3D engine instead of like a 2D. Because soccer, basically, it's just, okay, you play as your person, you can see a little bit around you and that's about it. Or you can play as the entire team and just like switch characters and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's cool and interesting, but I think Rocket League just does a better thing. You're gonna head off. Alright, thanks Knights for coming out. I appreciate it. Best of luck to you and uh, whatever you're about to venture off into. And I appreciate the luck, my dude. So what we need to do is we need to get Tui to pop in the stream and then leave, and then we'll get a shiny. So that's what always happens. Or, and I always always have to start talking about it because we've been going for an hour and a half, we haven't found a shiny yet. So I mean, we, it's quite a, it's been quite a bit. It's quite a bit for a shiny. Not gonna lie. So I think it's about time for that shiny bell sprout to pop up. Mention of Transformers were in Rocket League. Nah. I mean, it definitely would be interesting because then you would have like ranged attacks you could do, but I don't think that's. I think I just make the game too complicated because it's like, oh, let me just shoot the ball from everywhere on the field. Let me try to line up a ranged shot to score a goal. Like, yeah. Be interesting, but it would be way too crazy. And again, you're giving a that's 
you're giving a select niche of people who actually can be good at the game. Because you have to be really great at multitasking at that point. And honestly, I think that's what the problem with me and Fortnite is. is you have to be super great at multitasking. You have to be able to fight a guy and uh, build at the same time. And as someone who's never really played computer games too much, that just inc that's just incredibly difficult for me. And honestly, when you have to switch between the modes and you have to have certain key bindings, you have to have your keys memorized and binded correctly. Like, it's just hard. I only did I only started to do decently when I started using my PS3 controller, and I tr and my mouse at the same time because I would use my PS3 controller to do all my fighting aspects. But when it came to building, I would just use my mouse because I have I have the stairs and the walls built keyed into my the side buttons on my mouse. So all I just go is click on those two when I was going. You don't build in Fortnite, then you don't win. You have to build in Fortnite to win the game. I'm sorry, that's just how it works. And I, I really hate that. Just just out of curiosity, have you ever won a game a match in Fortnite? He's gonna run, he's gonna run. If I don't catch him here, he's gonna run. So we gotta run away ourselves. Okay, we caught him. That's good. Yeah, I typically just tried to shoot, but I would build a little bit. Like, I would build the bottom, and then I just have people build over me, and that's why I would always lose that, because I couldn't fight inside my own fort. So, yeah. Didn't really work too well. I don't play the game anymore. I'm thinking about maybe getting a new Call of Duty. If a Call of Duty game came to the Switch, that'd be something I would stream. Because I actually would be decent at it. Then why, if you don't play Fortnite, you know. No, no, never mind. <laughs> then never mind. Just, just, we just drop that topic for now. Would you play um, PUBG? I played PUBG for a while, but you know, I, I just didn't like the style of PUBG. It just didn't feel right. It, like, it was cool, it was interesting and fun, but it just sucked. Like, I never really understood what, how to play the game. The maps were way too immer too big and immersed. Like, it was just so hard to play through. At least Fortnite does it. Like, Fortnite has a smaller map, in my opinion, but player on Battlegrounds is just huge. The map is just way too big. It's like, oh yeah, we're, we're cutting off half the world right now. So creative destruction I've never played it I think I've seen I've heard about it but I've never played it you gotta but how to win in Fortnite you have to be able to build and shoot at the same exact time even though they are the same buttons just in different styles it's just it's insane and I don't like it if I want to play a shooter I'm gonna play Call of Duty where I can shoot the game I don't want to play a shooter where I have to build because that just is Minecraft At least Minecraft does it right. That's the thing, though. Minecraft doesn't make it so you have to build to shoot. You can shoot, or you can just build. One of the two. Alright. Let's get this shine. How about that? Sounds good to me. Wow, wow. That's a bell sprout. We'll go ahead and catch it. Might as well. Might as well. We'll give ourselves a uh, go ahead and get some more monies. The big old oof, yeah. Alright. More bell sprouts. I mean, at least bell sprouts are popping up pretty much everywhere. That's nice to see. Some 
Bulbasaur cry. The Caterpie cry. It's sad that I know these cries so well. No, there's a Weedle. I don't know the Weedle cry too well. If I heard it, I would be like, maybe I might think of Bug type, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't just jump straight to Weedle. After hunting Bulbasaur so much, the cry is just drilled in my head. Yeah, I know it's Bulbasaur. And the same with Caterpie. I've just comboed it way too much and know the cry too well. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. And call it, keep going. Hey, no, 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 no. It's gonna run. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Don't run on me. Alright, he's gonna run. We gotta back out. We gotta back out now. I'm just gonna keep. Not gonna change it. We'll just get this guy and he'll be fine. But they should be getting easier to catch here soon. I mean we usually just throw a Pokeball now and they go in but they will keep getting easier as we go along. Okay, now the combo is 69. You're gonna go watch my Sacred Gold Nuzlocke episode? Okay, that's cool. Go enjoy. Speaking of which, guys, if you wanna go check out a series I'm doing on the channel, we are doing a Sacred Gold Nuzlocke right now. Um, it's a ROM hack of Pokemon Heart Gold, created by Dreano to be a really hard game to play through. We have lost quite a bit of our team. Um, I think I have over 30 deaths in that game, almost going to 40. So, it's something you might wanna check out. Um, just went live with an episode about 45 minutes ago so it might be something you check out if you're interested in uh, Nuzlocke but then again I would recommend checking out after the stream because I will be streaming for quite a while here I will be streaming until I get the uh, shiny bell sprout and then we will be switching then I will be uh, taking a break probably I probably won't stream again tonight I might depending on um because I want to go watch I, I like college football and I want to go watch like the, the bowl games today so especially since they're like the uh, the playoff games so I want to watch those today and I also want to like unpack from all the Christmas stuff we've done and all the crap I have in my house that I need to move because I have a couple I got a few packages of stuff I have to clean out and sort and put in certain places and figure out where they go and Yada this and yada that. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's something I gotta do. I mean, I already had to clean off my desk. I cleaned off my entire desk and organized it. So I can put my monitors up. So that was fun. You guys, if you are new to the community, make sure you do go down and drop that like button. Um, support the channel. Support the stream. Support what we are doing here. And if you are also new and you'd like to keep up to date with everything going on with what we're doing here, you'd like to see the uh, sh the shiny badge quest when episodes go live, you want to see some more shiny hunting and things like that, hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. Alright, come on, Bellsprout. We've been over this. You need to get in the ball so I can keep going. I need to look at how many Pokeballs I have left too. Cause we only bought like 40 some. And we did that at like 40 Pokemon. So. We're probably pretty low. I would say. We're probably pretty low on Pokeballs. We have 21, so I have a good bit left. So maybe once we get to like, um, maybe once we get to 80 or 85, we'll, we'll you know, once we get to like 85, we'll go buy some more. So once I get under 10, I'll probably go buy some.
So now I said... I'm trying to think about the team for this game, like what I want to kill after. For my hunts. Uh, Bellsprout was obviously my first pick. It's something I haven't used before. It's a Verdant exclusive, and it's also the, one of the only grass types I can find. It's early on in the game. It would be really good for the rest of the playthrough, I think. So, I really wanted to get the Bellsprout here. Um, but I'm thinking after Brock, like, I know I wanted, I said I want to get version exclusives, and I know that, like, the Ekans line is a version exclusive, but I don't think I want two poison types on the team, so that might not be my option I go for. Um, I have to figure out what I exactly want. Like I can shiny hunt as I can shiny hunt anywhere I have access to. So that's something you gotta think about. I'm thinking do I like do I want a shiny Geodude? Do I want a shiny Onyx? Do I want um shiny Sandshrew? What do I want shiny? That's gonna be my next shiny. So that is something to think about. So that's probably gonna be a question in one of the next uh videos. Probably the next episode, honestly, is what shiny should I go for next? I did ask in the first episode of the series, what shinies do you want us to see? What shinies do you want us to go after in this game? And I'm hoping that some people answer that question, so that way we can, like, I can know what what you guys want me to go after. But other than that, I know Bell Sprout and Volpix are the two I want to get on the team. I think I think at some point, and of course they can go ahead. So like, see, Bell Sprouts could be one. I have no idea what slot two will be. Slot three, so you battle Surge. So slot three could be the Vulpix. It's probably going to be the Vulpix, or maybe slot three is a Ground type. See, it depends on what we go for slot two. I think. Maybe going for a ground type for slot 2 would be nice. It's gonna, it would help us out with Misty. It wouldn't help us out with Misty, but it would help us out with Surge. And we could just use our Bell Sprout for Misty. Um, but slot 3, I think I want to be Vulpix. Either slot 3 or slot 4 is Vulpix, depending. So we don't have a ground type. Ground type is going to be our slot 3. But Vulpix is either 3 or 4. It's what I want to go for. Um, maybe slot 5 would be a Ghastly. So we can help take on um, um, Sabrina. Or maybe we go for a Psychic type. So we can help take on uh, Koga. Or maybe I grab Scyther as my 5 so I can use... I mean, Pinsir as my 5 so I can take on uh, Sabrina easier. That would work too. And then I think a water type would be nice to get as my uh, as my sixth slot or my seventh slot, so I can beat Giovanni and I can beat Blaine. But I don't really know what else to grab. Again, it really just depends on what we find, guys. Like, the first... I think... I want to do it so that... Let me reset that. I want to... I think I want to do it so the first thing we get is our shiny. I don't have to worry about that, but... So, like, the first thing we find shiny is what we're going to use as our shiny, but I... There are a few things I really want to get. So I want to get the, this Bell Sprout and I want to get the uh, Volt Picks. Those are the two big ones on my list right now. The other ones I'm not so sure about. Maybe Pinsir would be nice to have as... I think, I'm thinking Pinsir might be nice to get later on in the game to help take on Sabrina. So maybe that's my, uh, maybe that's my third one that I know I want to get. But I don't know what else to grab. Like, Starry might be fun.
could pick up a Gyarados. But then again, I don't really want a shiny Gyarados. So I've put off Magikarp for so long, I don't really want to get a shiny Magikarp. So, I mean, I, I've had a shiny Gyarados. Everybody's had a shiny Gyarados. Because you get it in Soul Silver for free, or Heart Gold, whichever one you're playing. Or even uh, Gen 2 with gold or silver, depending on what you're playing. You get a shiny Gyarados. So something different from that would be great to have. So maybe not bad as a shiny either. Could go for a shiny Polyrath, that'd be fun. Shiny Polyrath would be fun to use. I mean, it is an ugly green vomit shiny, but it could be fun. I do not know what's going on with the music here. Okay, let's keep going. Just gonna run into that one too, might as well get 79. Got 13 Pokeballs, so that's something to note. Maybe I swing down to the Pokemon Center this time around. I think that's what I'll do, just swing down to the Pokemon Center. Get myself some more, uh, some more shinies. Not some more shinies, some more Pokeballs. There's another Bell Sprout. We'll hit 80 here. I do not know what's going on with the audio. Can't reset the game either. Yeah. We're gonna take a look here at the sound capture. Uh-huh. Don't know where the sound capture is. Finding it on my screen. Not on any screen. Let's try that again. Sound capture. It's up, but it's not showing where it is. That's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna close out um, Elgato, so you're gonna not see anything on the screen. I'm not gonna be making any sounds, and we'll reopen the game capture card. So, we'll reopen game and see what that does for me. There we go. Maybe that's all I had to do. Alright, so now we are back in business. So when it lags out like that, open up the game capture card. Alright, we're gonna go get some more Pokeballs. And such, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna check our, uh, Bell Sprouts here. See if we got any good ones. Like, if I find a good Bell Sprout with good nature, I might keep it. But other than that, I don't have the ability to look at it right now. I don't have the ability. I don't have the ability to look at what it, its stuff is. That's great. All right, so let's just, we're gonna just send them all. I'm gonna hope our shiny is good enough. He wants competitive bell sprout anyway, not me. We've got 80 bell sprouts and some money coming in. The 81. Yep. Alright, let's go. Uh, give me some more Pokeballs. Hey, Caterpie.
we run and run it and run it run it and run it run it and run it run it did I mess up I did mess up so I'm not, I gotta wait till I get down here then I can go over and now I can sell all my candy I get 7,000 there I get 30,000 there, and I can get 260 here. Now I should buy, I can buy um, 109 Pokeballs, I believe. If I did the math correctly, yep. So I get 10 Premier Balls to have. So we are rolling in dough. I mean, this is one way easy early game. As we were talking earlier with, um, I believe it was Knights. Maybe it was Toxic Bot. We were talking earlier about um, Nuzlocke's and things like that, and how Pokemon's not really built for it. But this game really is nice for a Nuzlocke, because you can just do this catch combo over and over again. I mean, you can literally catch combo anything up to 30, get all these uh, candies and just trade them in, and your squad just goes up, man. You just get a lot of money, because I got, as you saw, I got 10,000 Poke Dollars from that. That was just selling the candies that I had. I need to reset this so I can change the number. There we go. It's fixed. It is fixed. Back to the Bell Sprouts. Back to the Bell Sprouts. Take a quick gander over here. I'm gonna take a quick gander at the shiny race. Uh, I'm not looking too promising here. Okay, back to what I'm doing. 81. Darky. Darkery. Darkery. How do you give me a phonics of your name, Darkery? But nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Let me fix my thing so I can change the number again. Uh oh. Oh no! Got off my live stream, so I can't see anything. That's what happens when you have those screen monitors and you click on the wrong thing. Okay, pop up in my live stream. Alright. I can see everything clearly now. Nice to see you back, Super Mew. Glad to have you back out here. Um, you're back. And no to whatever my ditto was named. Um, I forget, honestly. I recorded that episode two weeks ago, so I, I really don't remember <laughs> what I named it. Um, oh, uh, Morpheus is what its name is. Right. I named it Morpheus after uh, the guy from... Uh, I forgot what movie that is now. It's not Blade Runner. It's The Matrix. That's what it is. Yeah, after Morpheus and the Blade Runner from Matriot. Perhaps like Dark Eye. Okay, nice to see. You. Well, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Morpheus from the Matrix is what I named it after. So it was named Morpheus because I just think that's a really cool name. So, uh, Dark Eye is here. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it, man. I don't think I've seen you before, but thank you for coming out, for checking out the channel. Um, I mean, number one question is, if I do not recognize your face, if I do not recognize who you are, which I do not recognize you, um, how'd you find the channel? Question of the day for you. I'm at 83. I already upped the encounter once and messed it up again. All right, let's continue on. Get this shiny here. All right, I thought, like I saw the heads and I'm like, okay, maybe one of those is shiny, but they weren't. So that is a right pod that we just came up with. Yeah, looks like Mew is bringing the hype train today. That's what it seems like. Mew, I really appreciate you bringing the hype train today. Like it seems whenever you pop up in the stream, a bunch of everybody else just like, yeah, I'm here too. What item did Ditto have? Ditto, I believe I gave it the quick powder. I didn't have a choice scarf, so I gave it the quick powder so it would be faster. <laughs> so that is what I used on it. And you can usually find quick powders on Ditto's in the wild, so it actually was holding it when I when I caught it, so 
I just gave it back to it and let it use it. You got your stream recommended. All right, YouTube. Maybe I should keep streaming on YouTube. So I've been talking about streaming on Twitch for a while now. You got my stream recommended on YouTube. YouTube, you've done good jobs. Oh, let me guess, you just watched a shiny reaction recently? Or something like that? I mean, that is the one thing YouTube does do well. It does market you to people who have watched your content, like, watch similar content. But it doesn't market you out there for people who are wanting to watch a certain game or anything like that. So, that is something to look at. Uh, Doug, I thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's really appreciated and, uh, really helps me out quite a bit. I do believe we are sitting about, uh, 108, 110, something like that. I believe that is where we're sitting. I can check real quick if you like. It's going to take me a second. I'm not going to be able to read the chat, but I will be able to see. We are at 110 now, guys. I appreciate it so much. We still haven't done a 100 subscriber special. It is coming. We have just got to figure out what it's going to be. And I have no idea. Honestly. No idea. I've been trying to figure out what to do for a 100 subscriber special since, uh, since like the beginning of December. So, but it is going to happen. I, I promise you it will happen. I just got to figure out what I want to do. It's got to be special. Last time we did a... Uh, at 50, we did a, a Butterfree solo run in Pokemon Fire Red. So maybe we do another solo run, if that's something you guys want to see. Uh, maybe we do a, a stream, if that's something you want to see as well. Um, it just depends what you guys want me to do. And anything like that. You just watched a shiny stream? That makes sense. Um, what does the Quick Powder help an imposter you did it in? Wait, how does it ha help? Um, quick Powder is an item that boosts your speed stat. So that is why I used it. It gave it, it gave my Ditto slightly more speed over the opponent. So that way I would always outspeed them because I would just copy their stats and of course they wouldn't be ha having, wow. Let me try to say that again. Um, it would, the Quick Powder would give me just a little bit more speed stat. So of course we would be the same speed stat unless like, you'd be the same speed stat since I would imposter them. And all I would have to do is literally click a move and it'd be faster than them. So that's why I used it. Because it just gave me more speed that I needed. A merry late Christmas. I appreciate it, man. I always do appreciate the Christmas time. Caterpillar. I do not want you. There's another bell sprout. Let's make it 88. We'll go ahead and get this one too. Make some more dough. Yeah, I appreciate eight things quite a bit. I had a technique bonus, man. I'm doing good. You know, I think we're ready to take on Misty, guys. I really do. With this, like, if I use this team, like, we're like level 25, averaging. Batting, batting about level 25, so. If I use this team right now to take on like Misty or something, I would just wreck. I probably would absolutely destroy Brock. Interesting, I need to do some testing with Quick Powder. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you because I figured you'd have to do it, but. That's quite alright. It's not as good as Choice Scarf, just saying. You don't need help. Yeah, I can tell you right now that um, some Pokemon, uh, so put this in the context guys, we are doing a draft league right now. Uh, week number, f this is week number four, which is actually a bye week for everyone since we're off for Christmas. But we will start up beginning on Sunday with week five, and that's a new matchup. Um, and just to put this in the context for you guys, there are some Pokemon that are absolute that I've noticed this season that um, really make it hard to play against. In like, it really makes it hard to pit, play against in um, 
draft league because you can't counter them as easily as you could like maybe in their tiers like OU. So um, it's like an OU tiered Mon could be like absolutely busted in a in a draft league because like you can't you have to draft something to counter it, which takes a slot on your team. So honestly, it's kind of difficult to do it that way. There's some things that I want to switch out so. Um, a few things will be going up in tier tierage next season, or also maybe ban. There is one Pokemon that I unfortunately going to ban next season, um, so that is something to note. But I, you know, every it's nice to do these seasons where like I try to add some things back in. I try to put as many things in the league as I could, and uh, just seeing that they're absolutely busted, not going to happen anymore. So. They're going to be absolutely banned from now on. It's a shame you have to pay for online on Switch. But it is what it is. Yeah, a lot of things. Um, it really started with the Xbox, man. It started back with Xbox One, and they went um, to Xbox Live memberships. You had to pay for those. Um, once that got started, PS4s, I believe, started doing it when they came out. They started with uh, PlayStation Live. So, PlayStation bought into it, and then, of course, Nintendo jumped on, like, oh, we can make more money, so let's do it. And so they jumped on, but I was already doing it anyway. I paid for it for, I was using it for Rock League, so I didn't really mind too much. Oh, uh, yeah, Ditto's getting nerfed next season. It's gonna be... I haven't decided if I'm banning it or not yet. It's gonna be definitely moved. It's not gonna be tier five next season. It's, it's looking about tier one. Honestly, it's tier one or, or busted right now. It's it's looking at a ban because honestly, Super Mew. One of the big reasons why you won that last match against me was because your Ditto just came in and copied all my stats. And for a Pokemon like that, you have you get all the stat boost, you get everything like that. Um, it just doesn't seem right to me. It seems kind of absolutely busted. Because if I go plus six, you just bring in Ditto, you outspeed me, and you just beat me that way. So that is not reason for it to really be around. Especially not in tier 5. It's way too easy at a tier 5 pick. Of course, I can't do anything about it now since you already drafted it sitting at tier 5. It's a sweep blocker. Yeah, it's nice to have sweep blockers too. But also it's nice to play at the point where you don't have to worry about a sweep. Because you should be able to sweep block. If a Pokemon... Honestly, what I'm thinking about, if a Pokemon cannot be useful... If a Pokemon's tactic is to copy the sweeping of another Pokemon and use it against them to sweep it on its own like Ditto does I'm not sure if it's something I want to see and since I make the rules for the league and I'm sure the other guys won't have a problem I make the I do make the rules for the league I do do all the tierings and stuff but they they agree with me and they we've changed some stuff like um Uh, I forget what I said. Like, I think the original list had um, Magearna in tier 2. And I'm like, this is not right. It should be a tier 1 Mon. And they're like, okay, yeah, that works. So that is something. Um, we also moved Infernape. Infernape was supposed to be tier 3. And I'm like, yeah, it's just going to pop into tier. It'll pop into tier 2. Um, no problem there. You could uh, block the imposter ability. That is something to look at, too. Uh, I mean... It's one of the reasons Zygarde is still able to be used because I didn't like I originally had Zygarde out of the game and someone one of the two of them was like why can't we use Zygarde and I'm like well it's just busted because it goes it just power constructs and you win like you focus sash power construct you win every time or you citrus berry power construct it you just win <laughs> Yeah, the imposter, blocking the imposter ability is a way to go. But then if I did that, I would put Ditto. Ditto still, either way, is going to go up in tierage. It can't set at tier 5. It's just... 
It's just how it works. It's just busted. It's just busted for a tier five one. You're downloading ROMs of Pokemon games to play on an emulator. That is interesting. You know, what kind of games are you getting? Don't cry. So I I have started working. Where am I at on this? I have started working in my head some changes in the tierings for next year or for next season and that it's even if I decide to do another season I mean honestly I love doing draft leagues I love um, playing in them I love drafting and all that jazz but I just don't feel like I understand the one thing I understand is that we're not all none of us actually I don't think are full-time Pokemon youtubers or full-time YouTubers in any sense. So we don't have the time in the world to sit around and do all this crazy stuff. But that being said, Necrozma probably is banned too. Yeah, that's probably another thing. I mean, it's definitely gonna get something. Oh, Snakewood? Yeah, Snakewood's pretty good, I heard. Um, but one of the things I've always, one of the problems I've always run into while doing Draft League, especially with like, content creators who like a lot of people I've had don't really take it super serious and that's like I understand it. it's for fun it's supposed to be fun but you've got to do the basic stuff like I don't know how hard it is to up keep updating in your sheets like you literally go in after the battle after you do the battle or after you upload your video go into the document and just update your sheets. Take a watch the game on replay, or write it down as you're playing through it on a sticky note or something. And say, okay, this thing got this many kills. This thing got this many kills. This thing died. This thing did not die. It's not that hard to do, and people just don't do it. Now I understand if you're pressed for time at a moment, like, okay, we're getting this battle in real quick, and oh, I gotta do something right after it, so I can't put it in right away. You still have the data there. You still can do it whenever you have a free second. It takes like 10 minutes. To go in, go and rewatch a match, or, re or just think about the match. Like, okay, this thing died, this thing didn't, this got kills, this got this many kills, or you can just go check out the replay and skip skip around just a bit until you find out. Okay, this thing died, this killed it. Cool. I'm not saying you don't update your sheets, me. I'm just saying people don't. I haven't checked the sheets in a while, honestly. I posted that thing. That's not what I wanted. To do. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I am not well, looking at what I'm doing right now. Yes, give up and catching me. Some people just haven't updated the sheets, and it's just so annoying. And then the entire sheets aren't updated, and it's just it's just pain. You know? That's one of the things that really has bugged me while doing this league. Is doing any all leagues, every single league, I've had this problem. Brief used to be the number one problem while doing these sheets. And you can tell he's not, I haven't invited him back. I didn't invite him back for season three. Tekken also was a problem while doing these sheets. And he's not invited back. And also we kind of had a falling out with the uh, his league that he tried to do and completely running it wrong and none dated, and he was completely undedicated. I'm trying, I want people who are actually dedicated to doing the league. So I know a few people, have two minutes been to fight yet? They have until uh, tonight at midnight to do it. I don't know. He hasn't told me. So. He will let me know soon, though. And if not, then that's something that the commission has to look at. And, um, who gets DQ'd for that part of the... Speaking of Tui, hey Tui, did you fight Spenda yet? <laughs> Since you're here, let me know. Because uh, we, we might have to talk about that soon. You have literally... Um, a few hours left, buddy. You have until about you have until 11:59 the night. Benda isn't responding to your messages. Get call him. Just call him and spam it. You just gotta you gotta figure out something, man. Because if if not, you're putting me and Damien in a really hard spot, and I don't want to do it. I really don't want to have to do this right now. Because I can see both sides of it. And 
I really don't want to have to pick it up. Could you maybe do an egg log after your sacred gold nuzlocke? That could be something we come into, Darkrai. Um, that is something we could have done. I did a Pokemon White egg lock a little bit ago. Um, I'm due back to play Generation 5 again. So, I really want to play Gen 5. I'm thinking about... Um, so I'm thinking about um, my time that I have left before I have to go back to classes and stuff like that. And I've been thinking maybe I don't want to stream and upload as regularly as I have been doing. Uh, maybe take, a, maybe cut back a little bit and take some time for me to just do some playthroughs on my own. And that is something I really want to do. So going back and doing an egg lock would be fun. Pokemon Blaze Black? Nah, I don't. I wouldn't do an egg lock through a Drayano game. Sorry. And I'm I'm currently playing a Drayano game, so I'm not gonna just jump straight to another one. It'd have to be a randomizer, though. If I do another Nuzlocke, it's gonna be a randomizer something lock. Because I cannot do a regular playthrough anymore. I've had it. <laughs> like this, I just need a, I just need something different. So, um, to keep me posted on the uh, whole situation with the league, make sure you answer my Discord DMs because I did DM you quite a bit. <laughs> Over the last couple hours, because I was trying to get another stream going. Um, we also need to start doing some plugging for something that's coming up if we are still going to do it next week. And so uh, hit me up on the DMs too, and we will see what we got. And see, this is so. This is another thing about the league that I want to highlight right here. I want to highlight this about the about the league. Um, so every season, every season without a fail, it's been we've done three seasons, and every season we've had one match that wasn't played on time, at least one match. And the problem with that. The problem with not playing the matches on time is that it is the commission's job at that point to determine who's at fault for not playing the match and who gets disqualified. Because that is a that is something we have to do. And obviously it's for me it's just whoever doesn't respond. Like I just go, "Oh, you tried to schedule a match?" Nope, not going to happen. And in the past I was more lenient with it. I was more lenient. The rules said, uh, get your matches done by the week. If you cannot work that out, let me know, and we will see what we can do. But if you do not work it out, then that's a problem. Yeah, we'll get to tail whip. Yeah, I think too. You've been in two. You've been in the last two that we've had problems with. So like this season, and last season, so. We are sitting at a point with those that um, like I'm getting to the point where if you miss a match, I'm just going to disqualify everybody. Because honestly, I'm just tired of having to try to figure out who's at fault, who I get the the 6-0 to. Because I don't want to. I really don't want people just to lose because they didn't do a match. But again, and then again, they have to do a match or else it's not really. They're not really playing. And that just shows a lack of commitment to the league itself, and a lack of commitment to what we do here. Um, and I'm getting more strict with how the league is run. I'm kicking people out. I'm not allowing people to come back in because I want to see dedication to the league. I want to see it. Like I want it to be a thriving league. I don't want it to get to the point where, like, we have a league. It sort of runs. It sort of doesn't run. Half the battles get completed and half don't. So that is something. I can. S 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do that too if it gets tomorrow. If it gets to tomorrow, we're gonna have to do that. Um, because if it gets to tomorrow, if it gets to midnight and it's not completed, it's the match is done. It's not gonna be made up. It's gonna be put over. Like it's gonna be cut off because honestly it should have been done I understand but it should have been done a week ago it really should have been done a week ago and it's gonna get to the point where that rule was very harsh and that's some of the things I don't want to make the rules too harsh that nobody wants to play but I don't want to make the rules too easy that everybody thinks they can walk all over me those are the things I have to struggle with as, a, as the creator of the rules and as a commissioner for the league. And also as someone who's on the council for the league. So that is something to look at here. Um, Dark Eyes, play, you've played every single Adriano game apart from the new games. Uh, what are the new games? The ones for like, the, for like Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Because I don't think he has... I haven't seen those yet. Alright, i got to fix my uh, alignment for that number. We did not expect to get the triple digits, but we did. So there's something to note. I thought that Weedle was a Caterpie, honestly. I mean, I thought that... I thought that Weedle was a Eevee, I mean. Let me say it right. Yeah. So, I'm gonna have to take a quick look at... You had two weeks to do the fight. Yeah, that's a thing. That's one of my big issues right now. Is there was two weeks. You haven't done Renegade Platinum? Okay. That's my big thing. You had two weeks to do a match. And I let you go another week. So that is another, that's a big red flag for me. So that is something that's going to have to be looked at here. Shiny! Is that it? Shiny Bell Sprout! I thought it was. I thought I saw the sparkle. I thought I saw the sparkle. It's the shiny, guys. It is here. We have found it. Finally, the shiny has popped up. So let's go ahead and razz it. Let's go ahead and switch to Premier Balls. This is not a drill. 100 encounters. Shiny Bell Sprout. That is how we do. Aw, uh, you turd. Get in the Pokeball. Yes! Shiny on screen, guys. Come on. Come on. That is it. That is all we need right there. Shiny Bell Sprout popping up as the first encounter. Not first encounter. As the first member of our Shiny Badge quest. That is what we need right now. Look at that thing. 101 encounters, actually. Not 1,000, 101. So uh, let me get those nature guesses in chat, guys, as we look at this Shiny Bell Sprout here. Man, does it look great i didn't even notice it i walked by and i'm like is that a shiny or is that just like the uh, aura popping up so we can catch a bulbasaur now i'm just gonna catch it why not yeah so if i can continue on my playthrough continue my playthrough of this game so i'm gonna i'm gonna break my chain here you're gonna have to deal with it um i don't need really need anything else shiny so let's get the bell sprout uh, we got a serious nature guess in the chat. Let's see what we get. Um, I'm kind of hoping it's an adamant nature. I really hope it's adamant. Um, a jolly would be pretty good too. You think to be left? I'm pretty sure to be left. Yeah. All right. So let us uh, get back to the back out of here. Not in the way anymore. Let us check our new friend who is now on the squad. This guy right here, add him to my party, in my need arena, why not? And put him following us, make sure this is the correct one, it is my shiny, that is great. Okay, and now we get to check natures and everything. So it is a naive nature, so that's going to be boosting the speed in favor of a special defense. Which is okay, not my favorite thing in the world, but it is there, and then we have a bell sprout. So I uh, will see you guys in the episode. And uh, that 
So now I get to continue on with the, the shiny reaction, guys. So um, I'm going to be showcasing the shiny reactions to all of the shinies I find in this series during the series. So I'm going to have to do... That's one of the things I'm going to have to cut out in and out of. Um, going to show off the shiny. So we do have a naive nature. Looks pretty good. I can't check its IVs yet, but it does look like it's pretty neutral across the board. Um, I would have to say its four perfect IVs are going to be uh, defense, special, attack, HP, and attack. The ones that aren't affected by the nature. That's just what it looks like to me. Um, maybe special defense is perfect and defense is not, but that is something to look at too. Um, but that is where we're going to be wrapping up this shiny hunt. It is 12, it is a nice two and a half hour shiny. What we need. Look at this thing. It's just running around. It's so great. But I will see you guys in the episode with some more content from this series. I'm going to, uh, we can do some more shine, uh, more chaining here. I mean, not more chaining. I'm going to do a few more encounters. Uh, feel free to drop out, go watch another video or something. Uh, but I'm going to get a few more, uh, some more candy and stuff to level up my bell sprout here. Just so I can make it worthwhile for having. Uh, I need to make, I need to get it leveled up a bit for Brock. So. I'm going to shoot about level 6 right now. Of course, it's going to take like two catches and it's going to be fine. But I, I think I want to get one more level on this thing so it can be useful. Um, I got to battle my rival too, so that's something to think about. So let's do another Bell Sprout hunt catch. So uh, I will get this thing to level 6 and we will go and get ready to take on. Uh, our rival in this series but I, I will do that in the regular episode so uh, we'll be ending the stream here shortly All right. I do have a catch combo too which is something um, but I do appreciate you guys coming out to this stream today I hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you do leave a like and also subscribe if you are new Keep up to date with everything going on with this channel, especially this new shiny badge quest that we are doing right now. You're going to want to see it. It's a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. As Nightbot is saying, make sure you do join in that community. Um, you're going to want to see everything going on with the channel and everything going on with this shiny badge quest. Because it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to really enjoy ourselves here playing through Let's Go Eevee for the first time. And getting some shinies. But there is the bell sprout running in front of us. It looks so good. Um... And I, I don't know what else to say, guys. So I will see you guys in the next episode of the Shiny Badge Quest for more on this series. But if you want to see other content, make sure you go check it out. There was an episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke Go Live that went live um, about an hour and a half ago. So that is something to check out. But as for me, that is all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'm Chaos May 006 signing off. Burn it up.